Hello, hello. It is Tuesday, May 19th, and we are doing language arts right now. Today is a very brief video because I want you to have plenty of time to read and listen to the recording. I wanted to answer some questions though from chapter eight. Um, so today's homework is chapter 10, and we're going to have some interactions with John Canty, not that great of a guy, and something pretty important actually happens that's going to um, continue to build the conflict in our plot diagrams. When we had our inciting event, they switch places, and then everything that happens is just continuing to up the ante. So, something pretty important is going to happen in this chapter. We're going to meet a character that we've seen already. Now, um, something I want to answer from last week about the Great Seal. Now, uh, many of you are probably pretty familiar with this based on your taste in literature and what you like to read and watch, but at this time, the reason the Great Seal is so important um, is that we're in, you know, mid-1500s England, and in England at this time, and actually until almost like the 19th and 20th century in most parts of, most about parts of the world, um, the population is extremely illiterate meaning most people can't read. It's actually a pretty big deal if you're able to read. And so um, there are uh, lots of times, unfortunately, public education wasn't really a, an idea. And the only people who were taught how to read were people of the upper classes who had the money, who could afford it, who people they thought it was worth them to be able to read. So um, at this time and throughout, uh, I mean, throughout the Middle Ages up until the Renaissance, they would use these stamps of approval. And basically, because so much of the population can't read, um, the, the king or the leader would wanna send out information, like an edict or a proclamation saying, hey, this is important and it's from the king. This is something you need to know. But since so much of the population couldn't read, um, they would just have to have somebody either read it or it would be shown to them. But they knew that what was being posted, like that important piece of paper, they knew it was from the king because of the great seal. And we actually still use this. The United States of America has a, a seal and so does the president. And so when you get something from the president with the seal, you can tell that it's official. And so it's a way to make something official. This is from the king, I, it's, it, I promise. It's not made up, it's not forged. Fun fact, I actually have my, one of my dad's best friends, so Papa, Papa Doyle, Grandpa Doyle, um, my dad's, one of his best friends, he's known most of his life, uh, worked in Washington for a while. And he was the head of the SEC, the Securities and Exchange Commission. And so when I was born, in a year, a long time ago, um, when I was born, Ronald Reagan was president, actually. And I don't know if any of you know Ronald Reagan, but Ronald Reagan was president when I was born. And because my dad's friend, worked in uh, Washington, D.C., he asked if Ronald Reagan would write uh, a letter, like a, hey, congratulations on being born kind of thing. And so I actually have a letter from the office of Ronald Reagan. You can tell it was typewritered. It wasn't like, what they didn't use a computer. It was made on a typewriter. Um, and it's just a short little note, like saying, hey, welcome to the world. Like, we're, we're happy you're here. And um, it's signed by Ronald Reagan, like with his pen, which I think is super cool. Um, but also what's embossed on the paper, embossed is like almost where it stamps and it like kind of makes an edge or a ridge. So it's like actually stamping the paper into that shape is the great seal of the president. And so I actually have a, an official document that is from Ronald Reagan that has his seal on it. And you know what? I don't have it with me, it's actually at school, but now that I think about it, I'll get that and I'll show it to you so you can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, <clears throat> basically this is a long story to say, the Great Seal is incredibly important because that's how people who could read or could not read would know that something being set forth or spoken about by the king was actually from the king. It's how you know it was official, okay? So that's uh, the, one of the biggest questions we have from chapter eight. So the great seal is important. So the big seal, the great one is missing and it's not that big, it's like this big, okay? And this seal is missing. And um, what they're able to use, they say they've got like a little travel seal. So they've got one that's like 
this big that you can take with you on trips because a seal this big is very heavy. And so when the king would travel, it would look like a little stamp almost. And then he could use that to say it's something's official. And so uh, until they can find the great seal, they're going to use the travel size one, basically. It's the same idea. It's just smaller, um, but it still works and it still can say something is official. It's just not as big and, re and regal and robust. They still need to find the seal, though. It's still really, really important. Uh, okay, so that's the great seal. And it's a totally true thing in history. Um, not that he lost it, but the idea of it. And we still use them today. And your homework tonight is to read chapter 10. Now, chapter 10, we're going to go back to Edward. Remember, Edward is playing the role of Tom right now. So Edward is the pauper, the beggar, the poor kid. And um, Tom is in Edward's spot in the palace. So we're actually gonna go meet up with Edward, who is with John Canty, who is Tom's father. And some uh, shenanigans are going to ensue. So yeah, you're reading chapter 10 today, answer your reading guide questions. Um, let me know if you have any more questions about the Great Seal. I think it's a pretty cool thing throughout history that we've done uh, in many different cultures across like not just European cultures, but a lot of cultures have used some form of a great seal or a uh, something that you can use to say this is official and it's from the leader. Okay, so yeah, have a great rest of your day. Um, ben is being a bit of a spoil sport. He's hiding under the bed right now and he's kind of moping because he wants me to play with him and I'm working. So um, I will try to get Finn into the videos again this week and I hope you had a great weekend and bye. Chapter 10.